Alright, I have no idea if this is gonna work. This might just drop frames like crazy. We're, we'll find out. It'll be fine. It's fine. This is fine. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I am coming to you live, live, live from the echo chamber. It's, uh, the Friday after Christmas. Which isn't really a holiday. I just didn't feel like streaming prior to. I actually just thought of ROM for The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I was like, I could, it feels weird playing a game about The Nightmare Before Christmas after Christmas. I guess, I guess the entire year, 363 days leading up to Christmas, could be the nightmare before Christmas. Because it's an everyday, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Deep. Anyway, uh, Obi is doing fine. He's at the door right now. He's not allowed in because he uh, will make a beeline for this plant over here and try to poop in it. He likes to poop in this plant, this one particular. I don't know. I'm not sure. But he's not allowed in because no pooping in the plants. So he's upset about that. So you'll probably hear him outside hollering. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nightmare before New Year's. So, uh... Shoot, if this runs really well, maybe I should have just maybe I should have played a less shitty game. <laughs> oh well. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm starting it from the very beginning so that you can all see we can all know who to judge for this game. As you can see, Elf Bowling is actually copyright nineteen ninety nine. It was originally like a computer game, I think. Like uh it's an old game with you know, a new coat of paint. It is not very good, but we're gonna play it. It cursed me out. You're not, you're not going deaf. There is no music here. It is just stark silence. Stark, terrifying silence. And these elves that all look like creepily like, uh... I don't know why my mouse is flipping out like that. They look like Santas. Like, they don't even look like elves. They all look like miniature Santas with elf ears. Which kind of spooks me out a little bit. This spooks me out even more, actually. Uh, uh, uh. So for those of you who can't make out the garble clip, this is just like some festive, like, you know, island music for elves in paradise. And this one is them going ho ho baby and dancing in this horrifying way. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. We're gonna play it though. Okay, so we just literally just set up the so it is Santa bowling for the other notice dancing. Is accepting their grim their grim demise. Hi Fire Bee! Oh my god, they sing they do that the entire time. I hate this. How do I, how do I, what button do I push? I want to knock them down, I want them to stop. Oh my god, what button? Oh, I did terrible. I like Santa's jacket, though. The way it just scoops them up is, is frightening. Does it have, like, spaces for their faces? Oh my god, oh god, they're, they're bleeding! Oh my god, they're bleeding! What is wrong with it? Oh my god! Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. What? They don't feel much like singing anymore, I see. I can't say I blame them. What's wrong with this game? <laughs> <laughs> I got a strike! I hate it! Thanks, I hate it! What is... I, I knew that this game was like, you know, violent or whatever, but I didn't... Hey, that's not very nice, but I guess... I can't tell what they're saying. Hang on. 
No more toys. It then sounds like they're saying Iron Maiden. <laughs> Oh, higher wages? Perhaps. Yeah, I know they could just leave, but they're just standing there waiting. I, I didn't realize just how terrible this was. <laughs> I've never played this before. It's pretty bad. And I feel like the silence it is, it is absolutely blood. They are absolutely just bloody after this. They, they, we, are, we are rendering them bloody messes. It is not a good scene to be these elves. The stream actually seems to be going really well. Hey! I'm really impressed that they're all slapping their butts in unison. <laughs> I don't know, they scoop all the elf corpses into the void. I feel like I've got like a, I've, I've, I've figured out the key. It's like, I'm like a master of it, just like it's like wee bowling now. Capitalism. It might be. I do have another game lined up after we beat, you know, this one. Uh, after we've suffered through this, because it's about, it's probably about as. Your bosses do not care. You're easily replaced. We're all just elves. Elves in a bowling lane. No, oh, there's a reindeer. Can I just? miss and hit the reindeer? What if I aim over here? Dang, it just got her ball. Okay. I was wondering if it would let me like do a uh, do a faith and you know shoot the wild animals as opposed to the demons and things. Oh, I was going to say a 7-10 split, but no, we actually had, what was that? Uh, I'm not sure what number that one was. It still really creeps me out that they all look like little Santas. Like, that's not how I visualize it. What the heck is that on the... What the heck? Oh no, a frog! I'm not gonna hit that frog! He's wearing a hat and a bow tie! Frog, please be careful! Get out of the way, frog! Frog! You're in danger! I may be an elf murderer, but I'm no frog murderer. Get out of the way. So this was a game you could buy with real actual money. Yeah, shut up, I know it was a gutter ball. Yeah, that's a really cold-blooded frog. Well, no, wait, that's not, I mean, because the... Oh, uh, they all put their finger to the noses to say not it. And then there's the one embarrassment at the front. That's, that's cute. I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream, but Obi's out there shouting because he's not allowed in because he poops in the plant if I let him in. And make a beeline over to this plant and poop in it. And maybe not, but he is notorious for it. At least I'm pretty positive you could sell it. You, they, it was sold for real money because, I mean, like, it was licensed, so... But yeah, it definitely has the quality of something you find on Newgrounds. It was originally a... Actually, let me, let me Google... Let's learn the history of this, of this fine, fine game. Let me Google this, because I know there is a Wikipedia article for it. Elf Bowling. Wikipedia. Elf Bowling the movie? Oh, Lord. I think I have heard of that before.
All right, so let's see. Elf Bowling is a computer game developed by Instormy, released in 1998. In the, in the game, the player, as Santa Claus, attempts to knock down elves who are arranged like bowling pins. An unauthorized, later release of the game, ooh, unauthorized, so this was apparently released without Instormy's permission, later released of the game by Ignition Entertainment on Nintendo handheld consoles, Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance, was universally panned by critics. So apparently there's an article all about games that are panned by critics. List of video games notable for negative reception. Hang on, let's see if Sprung is on here. Just gonna take a peek. No, it escaped. Which is good because it's a beautiful, beautiful game and does not deserve any sort of negative reception. Beautiful. Quality. During the games, the elf says to Trace, is that all the balls you got, Santa? When the player misses their first spare opportunity. Okay, so apparently you can hit the reindeer, but I'm not gonna try, because I, no thank you. Okay, the game was originally created as promotional marketing content by Dan Ferguson and Mike Belinsky, both co-founders of the game studio Envision Design. The game became an internet sensation in 1999 when people originally thought it was a computer virus. The game was an EXE file that was easily distributed as an attachment to emails. In 1999, EXE files could be attached to emails as there was no protective software to remove the EXE at the time. Direct Marketing News did an article on the original developers. Ooh, there's an actual link to the article. According to Media Metrics, among the 54 million people playing PC games in the month of December 2000, Elf Bowling was the game to hit the top 10 with 7.6 million players that was not bundled with Windows. Local Fox News affiliate KDFW found... Oh my goodness! Okay, so apparently our, my, my area, uh, Fox News, Local Fox News affiliate KDFW Dallas-Fort Worth did an interview with Dan Ferguson and Mike B Belinsky after they sold the company to Vectrix Business Solutions. What year was that? Vectrix Business Solutions acquired Envision in 1999 and subsequently filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Elf Bowling and Frogapult were sold by Vectrix Business Solutions with the approval of the bankruptcy court on December 31st, 2001 to Commotion Interactive, Inc. F Bowling 3 was recently released by the released by the Dallas firm Instorm, a subsidiary of Commotion Interactive. So was Instorm a Dallas a Dallas joint? Okay, so the sequel to the game, which we also have in this package here. Uh, the elves return as they go on an island vacation with old Kringle. Dingle Kringle, a failure of the used ice salesman. A used ice salesman. Eh, it's Santa's elder brother, who Mrs. Claus takes a shine to. The brothers make a double or nothing wager in a game of shuffleboard. The winner gets the title of Father Christmas while the loser loses his job. The elves are used as pucks. My goodness. Elf Bowling 3 involves singing elves in Mrs. Kringle's pink bra into distant icebound targets. Oh my god, there are, up to, there are up to seven of these, you guys. But apparently Elf Bowling 1 and 2 were unauthorized and used them without permission of the trademark holder. So we're playing a filthy, filthy knockoff game. According to Matthew Linton Walter, the DS and GBA versions were not approved or authorized by Instorms and were extremely poor copies of the code and art by original creators Ferguson and Belinsky. So really, we're, we're just getting ripped off here. But hey, you know what? It's something a little fun. Yeah, I never actually, I never actually played it, but I, I, I knew it, it was very popular. Anyway, sorry we're playing a lousy knockoff. There also is a movie, as I mentioned. Um, it is 
is by the, it was released in 2007, Elf Bowling the Movie, The Great North Pole Elf Strike. Which I feel like is actually a really good name because the elves could be going on, there's a bunny! The elves could be going on strike and also strike, um, like are they actually trying to, no it doesn't. Santa Claus and his brother Dingle are pirates roaming the open sea. After getting kicked off their ship by their own crew, they become trapped in ice and float until they wash ashore at the North Pole. There they meet elves who recognize Santa as the prophesied white beard. They throw him and Dingle out. Shortly afterwards, they ask Santa to leave the factory. <laughs> white beard, huh? But, uh... I just, I don't understand... I, I feel like there was a really good opportunity about the strike thing and having them be hating their jobs and also the bowling thing. Anyway, the, the actual movie sounds really weird and I kind of want to see it because it sounds wild. Please get out of the way, bunny. Nice. <laughs> After 1,400 years, Santa becomes sick of his brother Dingle loafing around in his apartment and insists that he leave. Santa upsets Dingle, so he applauds against Santa in order to take over Christmas from him. He challenges Santa to a game of elf bowling, but after the elves discover he cheated, the plan is, his plan is foiled. He then tricks Santa into getting frozen and writes a fake note about how Santa hates the elves and is leaving. This upsets the elves, and Dingle uses the opportunity to make them follow him to a trip, on a trip to Fiji. After Santa's wife finds him, Santa must go back to the elves in order to save Christmas. While Dingle hypnotizes the elves, Santa figures out a way to reverse the process, thwarting Dingle's plan and saving Christmas. I actually missed this section here, so hang on, let me, the, the white beard and, oh, they thawed him and Dingle out. I thought they said they threw him out, but he act, they actually found, they find Dingle and Santa and uh, Dingle and Pringle and thaw them out because apparently they were frozen. Shortly afterwards, they ascended to help leave their factory. The elves have already been making toys, but they didn't have anything to do with them, so they kept them in storage. Santa had the idea of giving the toys to the world's children, and thus Christmas is born. Wow. And apparently Dingle was just hanging around, being a lazy bum for 1,400 years. As one does. I actually kind of want to see this. It sounds terrible. <laughs> nice. Double. Oh, sweet. I got double strikes on my left here. I get an extra frame. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Yes! There actually, there actually was a Papers, Please film. It's been in development for quite a while. I haven't watched it yet, but it seemed, I remember when the trailer came out, it looked really on point. Uh, it, kept, it captured the, the, the vibe of the film. The creators, I know, were very excited about it, uh, which is always a, a shining recommendation. But I definitely have meant to watch it because it looks nice. Well, I I, I would imagine that it ha it would have they would have to have him. Everyone everyone's favorite fa favorite uh very legit. Oh no, I didn't mean to play again. Oh no, oh no, please please let me free me free me. There is no freedom. There is only bowling. Everyone's favorite very legit. Um, um, citizen. Oh my god, two players? What? 
got to pull him by his pants. I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, it's like shuffleboard now. That's right. I'm on three. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Double points. Jingles used ice company. How come he gets double points? Right, right. Well, this one's got a hula hoop. I still want a hula hoop. Bonk. What? Why didn't I hit him? That's how that's the one of the key parts of how shuffleboard works. Okay, so the, his hit. Can I not hit the opponents in this game? But that's I'm pretty sure that's not how shuffleboard works. Who let me out loud? Booyah, booyah. Who let me out loud? Booyah, booyah. Doing their best suck. Doing their best uh, inkling impression. Am I doing well? I can't really tell. No, I can't end it. Not yet. We have to keep going. Excuse me. I have to I have to see this through. Wait, what have you got there? Oh, a, fe a, a little a little festive beverage. That's I don't understand what that little meter in the center is. Am I supposed to be able to Is this like a gyro control thing? He have more points than me. Are there? Whoa, it's Kabu! Oh, it's round one, I see. Okay. It looks like I'm still losing though. the most I mean like this whole thing is incredibly creepy but like when you, you see them being lifted they've got like their heart they're secured by like their necks and their waists it's just all very very unsettling Held by their crotches. What I don't get is that, like, apparently there's all this lore about, about this, but. Oh, is this one sunburned? Oh, buddy. Sorry, this. Well, your, your butt doesn't look sunburned. So maybe this won't be so bad. I guess it's guess the story all comes in the manual because it's sure not told here. Yeah, it is kind of weird. It's not it's not actually bowling, but it seems like by the sound of it, the only one that was actually bowling was the first one. Toilets. 
somehow. What are you reading? I can't tell. I'm not really sure. There are a lot of questions. What? Uh, there are a lot of games. This game has a lot of questions. I'm in the lead. What's up? Thank you. I, I, I mean, then why do you come? Like, why continue to make them? I think is the better question. Like, why, why was any of this happening? He says, hey, Kringle, I've got crabs. <laughs> Why did that one have so much spin on it? I didn't do anything different. Or so much curve, I should say. And why is it whenever you flip them, they, all, they automatically start spinning? What are you doing to make them spin? How are you putting spin on their underwear? I suppose so. Higher wages, lower urinals. <laughs> okay, that one's actually kind of funny. It does make me feel bad for them. Like, I'm not sure how sometimes I seem to get more oomph, because there doesn't seem to be any real oomph meter. Aside from picking the, you know, the... It's a bit at the top picking the angle. Oh, he says he got laid. He's wearing a flower lay. You had anything else to say, wise guy? Huh? Your little beards freak me out. I took his leg in the process, which feels rude. So clearly my goal for next year... Oh, he gets 2x points. The goal, My goal for next year is clearly... To track down all the original Elfco bowling games, three through what, seven? And play them all for us. We'll all suffer together. Yeah, I won by 100 points. All right. I saved Christmas, maybe. I'm not really sure anymore. I hate it. Thank you. All right, let's find Elf the movie, The Great North Pole, Elf Strike. Let's see if we can find it on YouTube. Elf Bowling, the movie. Oh my God, is this it? There are apparently a lot of, uh, a lot of jokey, jokey reviews on it, which is disappointing. I mean, it's funny, but like you could tell that they're very, very fake, so it's kind of like, eh. A very exquisite cinematic experience. From the beginning to the end, I was hoping this gym's entertaining story, a gym of the 10 out of 10. This one says machine gun polar bears. 
I feel like we all need to sit back and watch this movie. Hang on, you guys. It's available on Vudu for two dollars, and with an Amazon Prime subscription. Do I? I think my folks have an Amazon Prime subscription. I could. We could do this. I could make this happen. Who's ready to suffer through the holidays with me? I could just like start playing, just put snippets of this, like find this film and like just play snippets of it. As a put like this, this could be the new, the new, uh, shit, I can't even remember the actual name of that, of that Ski Free Friend fic. But of course, nothing can ever actually replace Ski Free Friend fic. That's a beautiful classic gem of our stream heritage can never be replaced. And we're gonna watch a couple minutes of it. They can't get us in trouble for a couple minutes, right? Just just a tiny bit. What why did it Okay, there we go. Oh, I see. They put it on this little thing so that they could they could get away with broadcasting it. Well, now I'm broadcasting this broadcast. Okay. I see. This so this is how they got away with it. Filthy Joe. I can't handle this. I'm already out. No, I have to keep going. I have to. But I feel like we need to watch it in full size. I, but I, hang on. Let's just get to the, where the elves are. Let's see what they look like. Oh, good heavens! Good heavens! Oh god, there are musical numbers. There are musical numbers, you guys. Uh, this sounds like a like a real gym. Okay, but <laughs> if you only a, a straw, if, yes. If you wanted to get a drink, perhaps you could have a, a little a little festival watch this movie one year. But for right now, I think I'll I think I'm good. Um, I do have another game. I downloaded Elf, the movie the video game. And I also have Nightmare Before Christmas, but I didn't download it because it feels weird playing that playing that after Christmas. Um, I feel like Elf might actually be a, even, at least a vaguely entertaining game though, because Elf is at least a vaguely entertaining movie. I'm just kidding, Elf is a good, Elf is a decent movie, but uh, the game is probably subpar, but at least more t palatable than this, probably. Probably. What the heck was that? I, I hear it, but I don't actually see a car. Hang on a second. I have to throw off my blankets and fly to the shutters. Wait, what is that? Crap, I can't remember um, that bit of, I could have made a really funny, like, Twas the Night Before Christmas parody just then, because I'm wearing a blanket and a jacket because it's freaking cold up here in the front room. Here in the echo chamber! I don't see squat out here. Well, whatever it is, it's gone, so. Anyway. <laughs> I hope you all had a nice holiday. Sorry I didn't get to stream earlier. I just wasn't able to. This and that. You know. You know how it do. 
I don't know how the game will, how this will handle doing anything more intense than that. I might run some tests tomorrow morning, you know, at afternoon, and if maybe maybe if I can get it cooperating again, I could get I could play more Delta Room, but I wouldn't guarantee it. It'll probably still lag the heck it back once we get OBS running. This pencil is really sharp. It's a really nice pencil. I want to go draw with this pencil. Sorry, I got really distracted. Anyway, let's play some more holiday games, shall we? Let me stop the recording, though. See you in a bit. Wow, we're back at it again. Merry Christmas. Oh, 2004. Elf turned like what, 15 this year? Nuts. Freaking nuts. What is time, man? Y'all seen Elf? It's a nice little Christmas flick. There's not a lot that I can do, handle a whale federal in, you know, some of his films. I'm just like, eh. It's a little much. I mean, they're okay. But Elf, I did really enjoy. I was like, had a good. A good vibe to it. Interesting logo. Elf, the movie, the video game. It looks like it was made, like. Ooh, we can pick our language. I have to play in English. Oh my god, there's a story mode? I mean, it's, we might need to save. Hang on. We might just play the mini game and save this story mode for next year. I didn't realize there was going to be such depth to this game. Roll the snowballs in the right order towards the room to build a snowman. Roll it with the snow to increase its size. This is a very difficult to read font. And on the ground to reduce it. I can't move anymore. God, look at this. Look, look at this little wandering Will Ferrell. What happens if I just roll it in a really weird. Oh god, it's stuck there now. I made a terrible mistake. Oh, apparently not. Apparently, I did it just right. Accidentally. Great job! You obviously have done this before. Roll the snowballs in the right order towards the room to build a snowman. How are you supposed to know what the right order is? Outstanding way to build a snowman! Thank you. Oh my. Anyway. For those of you that celebrate, I hope you had a good holiday. For those of you who don't, I hope you uh, had a good Tuesday. It was nice here. Ah, oh, frick. Now it's stuck. I've rid of the snowman un un. Unsnowable. I broke it. I broke this game. I don't think there's any way to like pick up the snowman or like move it. I have to restart. Yeah, I'm so you work it. We're gonna start where it's always plastic holiday music. Sorry, I'm I'm so yawny. So I would imagine you're pretty freaking sick of it by now. I want to be praised for my snowman building. I must build them in the right order. This is a simple game for babies. Okay. I can't believe I'm having to do block puzzles. This is a 
didn't even bow tie. What the heck? Crap, I pushed it into the corner. I quit. This is too hard. It's too difficult. I don't want to think it's Christmas. Santa says, Cobbler's Workshop. Boxes. Pay attention to the color. Make sure to release the shoe at the right time. Red shoe. What? What? What am I doing? Oh, I see. Okay, I understand now. Oh my god. There's so many shoes just passing me by. Please, I need, I need a red shoe, please. Please, for Santa, or whoever. I don't understand how I get the shoes to stick. Please, give me your shoes. Ah, oh, I guess I pushed that button. What, I don't understand how, what buttons I'm pushing to make these do these things, but okay. every button I have. Somehow the shoes will stick to my to my shoe gun. It's like a glue gun but for shoes. There's no more coming out. How am I ever supposed to make quota like this? You guys are still eight seconds left in the day. Why are you doing this to me? Fine, have a green sock, whatever. Again, what's the color? See, you shut your mouth. I was trying my hardest. <gasps> oh, you think the, this one's a wild card sock? I was thinking you had to pair them together. Yeah, it is a wild card. You're right. You guys are so smart, what would I do without you? Look at me, you just collecting socks like a, like a loony. What everyone knows about socks is that you have two that are just wildly like one that's one color and one that's many, many different colors. Well done, you are a great help. Ah, thank you, game. Red one. It's not a red one. I screwed up. There's 
no more coming out. Oh god. Quick, quick. Don't tell me watch the colors. You shut your mouth. I'm doing my darn best. My darning best. Because it sucks. Darning. You, you get it? <laughs> Knitting jokes. Wait, no, they're shoes. Dang it! They're only socks to you, Harry. You're the one who keeps reading them in socks. My good joke was actually a bad joke. Put the presents in the bag the way Santa says. Okay. The red girl, teddy bear, robot. Why does the order matter, Santa? Excellent, help me again soon. Santa, are you the one writing these messages? Are you referring to something in third person? Kind of weird, Santa. Bear. Robot. Beagle. Ball. Oh, that was all. Yeah, I'm a master of at least one of the mini games in this simple, simple game. What are the options here? No. We're free. We're free. Enter code? Now hold on here. So you're telling me we can get started on this game, then write a code and come back and do it later? I love this. Let's get started this year and come back and enjoy this more next year. Next year. Collect as many kids as you can. Use a gumdrop to jump higher. Watch out for icicles and falling bridges. Look out for the polar bears. Ah, uh, yes. That was 
warned about, about falling bridges. the hamster dance. So I was gonna make a, a, a like a Pikachu dance, where I got and I gathered up all of the uh, Pikachu gifts. Dang it! All the Pikachu gifts I could I could gather. I think I also had, I had plans to do a penguin dance too. I had a ton of penguin gifts, so I assumed that I was planning to do with them. Let's just see what happens if we just bite it. This 
is a cute background. I like it. Oh no, Buddy can't swim. It feels like something you'd see on like candy bar. It's like that that, that uh, doll maker website. I think it was like Korean. Yeah, like the Korean doll maker site. I couldn't remember seeing all the, the letters with the little circly bits that you see in Korean. That we call those. Anyway, this feels like a candy bar doll. Video game. Things are getting complicated now. Okay, so there is a little platform here in case you break the bridge. It's very kind of you. You're really gonna make me go back here? Okay. those lollipops, but these hops are not forgiving, it's giving me a headache too. Frick. Anyway, happy holidays is the gist of it. I'd read you the ski free fanfic, but I had to go dig it out. And I don't know if I can top the year my mom read it anyway. even time to die and I'm just doing really poorly at this game. Use the gumdrops to explore higher areas. Thanks for the tip, game. I think we're gonna tuck this past it away in our pocket and come back next year. Would you guys like to play cards with me? Not that time, but if so, uh -huh, then I'll, I'll go make up a room for us or something. Happy holidays! Thanks for joining me. Never play these games on your own accord, please. I beg you. Let me suffer for you. Happy holidays! Um, I think we're gonna try to get together and play some Jackbox games for New Year's Eve. If you guys are interested in that, I'll have some. Uh, <laughs> post about it in the Discord whenever we get together for it. 